Hey to you, decided to do a pop-up live stream, decided to make a little bit of a beer run earlier and pick up some different things that I thought I would share here on a stream. And hopefully you guys are having a good Saturday afternoon. Wanted to get out before we started getting some of the rain that we are expecting. But I'm going to go ahead and share some of the things that I actually picked up. Interesting. Went to uh, the party source, which is uh, good for getting a lot of stuff. Would have liked to have gone to maybe some of the breweries, but being so spread out, you know, you have to pop from one to another to another. So when you go to one place and it's all under a roof, it definitely makes it a little bit easier. I actually wore a mask when I was out, and a lot of people did have masks. There were some that didn't, which was a little bit surprising because some places around here, they do want you to wear a mask when you go, but they did not have that in force. Some of the employees had it on, some didn't, but it is what it is. I just, you know, at this point, I almost feel like it's a selfish act to not wear one when you're out there because, if anything, to help other people not get what you may have, take it as you wish, but I just think everybody should actually have them at this point so hopefully everything is coming through i'm trying something different with Streamyard, and so i'm taking Streamyard right now and i'm routing it through my mob crush link or or a key which should actually allow this to show up on youtube and facebook at the same time and then i'm also simultaneously on twitter as well so when i get the playback i'll see how it works it's the first time of doing this test if it doesn't work, I'll just download it and re-upload it so everybody can see it at the time. That being said, so what did I pick up on this Saturday? And I also did get some stuff sent to me that I ordered. I'm looking at some new merchandise there for the Beer Venture Store, so I'll share a couple of those things with you too. But going first into some of the beer that I picked up, this one here is actually from Boulevard Brewing. It is their Rye on Rye limited release, but... This one here is the whiskey barrel that's actually aged on uh, with maple syrup. So trying to get the camera to bring it in a little bit better for you there. Let me get a little hand behind it. That might work. This thing is so fickle half the time. Let's see if that does a little bit better for you there. But it's a limited release, and I actually have one of these downstairs as well. But I don't have the one that was the. Uh, the whiskey barrel aged with maple. So looking forward to checking this one out. This was a 13.2% ABV. Hey, what is going on, Aniva? Nice to uh, meet you here. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm hoping it is. I'm, I like the Boulevard beers, so I'm thinking it should be pretty good as well. I have the regular Rye on Rye downstairs, which I believe is 12% ABV. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this one actually tastes. It was the last one he actually had on the shelf. So was glad to pick that one up. I also picked up uh, one of the Evil Twin Brewing beers here as well. This is the art of mixing a beer and is their Tangerine Tonic. So many of you have seen the other ones I've done, the Mojito and one of their other ones. And this will be the third one in that series, Double India Pale Ale with natural flavors. So looking forward to seeing how this one actually tastes. ABV on here, uh, 8%. So. Nice one there, kind of puts you in that imperial stage. Also, I picked up this one here, and this is uh, Brower's Rosette. It is their old Bruin that they actually had. I just saw it on there. It was the edition of 2014, which I didn't realize at the time, but the Flemish Red Brown Ale. They just had it out there, so I figured why not go ahead and pick it up. I think it was like $2.99 or something, or $1.99, but um, supposedly it's still supposed to be in decent shape so we'll see there but i grabbed that just because it was uh one of the deals they had going on i'm looking on here to see if they have any the date marked off i don't see it on here um doo -doo 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 -doo. but you know it is what it is if uh those ones can last actually a while so if it isn't great then that's fine too i mean it only cost me a couple bucks or so uh this one is also evil twin this is the Island of Bliss. So I picked this one up as well. And this would be a nice one too. This one is malt beverage with natural flavors, what it gives you on the can. And ABV on this 5.8%, not really giving you the style. So that would be kind of a little bit of a surprise, but you feel like 
it's going to be that tropical feel by the label that's actually shown in the beer there. So looking forward to seeing how that one tastes. And then I also decided to pick up a glass because I, I do have a big glass collection and they had these there on sale. It's a Jolly Pumpkin Snifter. You can always use another Snifter glass. And this is only like a dollar ninety nine or so. So I figure why not grab that? And we'll have that there. Oh, uh, as far as a big bottle, let me put the box on the floor here. This will be easier to grab from. I ended up picking this one up. And this is actually part of the Game of Thrones series from Armor Gang. It is my watch has ended. So this is a bigger bottle, as you can see here. Uh, one pint, 9.4 ounces. This is 8% ABV Imperial Brown Ale, brewed with maple syrup and fenugreek. And I always like to try to find a good brown ale. And in Imperials, they're tough to find. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this tastes. I've got other Amagang down there as part of the Game of Thrones series, which... I've never seen the show. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so may need to check that out at some point. I know it's all done on the series. My wife enjoyed it, but uh, never got around to watching it. Another one from Evil Twin Bruin is the Sour Sunsaft that I also picked up. And this one is Imperial India Pale Ale. Oh, just India Pale Ale, not Imperial. Well, actually, it's an 8% ABV, so that would make it Imperial uh, with black currant and mint added. So this should be a nice one to also uh, taste into. And then I also saw this one, it really caught my eye and I haven't had anything from a while from them. And I do like uh, DeClaw Brewing at a company. It is their oat shake that I decided to grab. Hazy double IPA brewed with oat milk. Kind of sounded interesting to me. So uh, <laughs> non via says no sours. <laughs> ah, it's this, you know, it's an acquired taste that points for people, but uh you know, I, I like sours. I like them here and there. I can pretty much drink a lot of different beers with no problem, except for I'm not a huge uh, shandy type person. But uh, sours are something I definitely do enjoy. But this uh, Hazy Double IPA, like I said, brewed with oat milk. And this one comes in at, let's see if I see this one here. I know they put oh, 8.5%. So right there in the label. And I was actually missing that. So DeCall Brewing always does some pretty decent beers. So looking forward to that. Then I also picked up another one from Boulevard that I tried to find before, but was unable to get because they were out of it. And that is the Brandyland. So I'm definitely looking forward to enjoying that one as well. Boulevard out of Missouri. This is a spiced Imperial Stout aged in apple brandy barrels. So this one should also be pretty solid. 12.4% ABV it says enjoyed by November 11th, 2020. You could probably go past that time, but you know, when they put a date on there, you try to definitely adhere to that because that's what the brewers intended, right? For you to drink it by that point. And then I happen to see this one here, which just caught my eye. Um, it was another one they were actually uh, doing something on, as you can see there, kind of the pie slice. And it's actually Omnipolo and their Lustro, which I do like Omnipolo, Omnipolo and the beers they do. This one, 8% ABV, Imperial India Pale Ale. So looking forward to seeing how this one actually tastes. Um, I always worry about getting Omnipolo just because we don't always get them at the freshest state. They don't put a date on it, but it was on sale. I think it was like $1.99 or something as they were trying to get some of the stuff off the uh, stock there. I haven't had that one, but Smokestack Series from Boulevard's Quality. I agree, yes. That's why I like to try to get the Boulevard beers as I can get them. We get more distribution from them now. Um, so I'm definitely uh, looking forward to trying that. And then this one was another Evil Twin Bruin, and it's actually a collaboration with Westbrook with uh, OFYMD. And this one is uh, Imperial Stout with Pineapple and Coconut, 12.8% ABV. So this one should be a tasty brew to enjoy as well. And this one, um, looking forward to seeing what this one actually has to, uh, to offer. Have not really gotten Westbrook directly. They've always been part of collabs for me. So looking to see how that one turns out. And I also picked up one more because <laughs> it was an evil twin kind of day. This is the Kiwi Coconut Fizz. 
for some reason, it's coming through tan on the screen. I don't have a green screen going, um, but it's uh, green on the actual label. And this is a Berliner style vice ale with kiwi and coconut as well. So again, that would be another one of the uh, sour beers. And then the last of the beers I got was actually from Dark Horse. And this was the Bourbon Barrel Age Scotty Karate. Now, actually, for this one, I ended up getting six beers. So they had them for $1.99. Again, they were doing some stock stuff. So I ended up getting like six there. I left six on the shelf. There was only 12 total there. And that's one that I've had many a time and always like to have around as possible. So looking forward to enjoying that. And then the coup de gras, or the final thing I actually picked up, isn't a beer. It is actually a coffee liqueur tequila. It is Cantera Negra Cafe. And it's basically a chocolate tequila that is so smooth that you can sit back and really enjoy this one. So looking forward to uh, having this. I had this last summer when we were down there. They had the people in doing the sampling and stuff, and it was really good. And so I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying this some more. 40 proof, 20% ABV. So if you're ever looking for like a taco type tequila, there you go. Cantera Negra, very solid. So that'll be one that I will actually enjoy. And so those were all the drink things that I actually did pick up today. And then I also had a couple things that were sent that I ordered, like I mentioned, as I stock up with the merchandise in the store. And this one here, what I ended up picking up was actually a bandana that I had created for the store because everybody's calling it a bandana type thing. So it's a get your beer on bandana as well. So that'll be something I wanted to check out to see what the quality was. And then if people want to make that into a mask, you can kind of do that as well and get that out there. And then the other thing I got was right here. So I cut the box open and not cut myself. Remember, always cut away. Never toward, always away. <laughs> a box into another box, like a Russian doll set here. Oh, that came out all right. So I basically had a uh, nice water bottle design there for the Beer Venture store because you do want to stay hydrated. So it's got the logo and everything like that on there as well. So there you go. So that'd be cool to have around. It's all about placement at times. But yeah, so that's what I picked up today. And on my trip doing some... Uh, things out there hopefully you guys again are having a great saturday and uh, if you've had some of these that i've mentioned let me know and leave a comment so i can uh, see what your thoughts on them are as well and for those of you that are wondering if there were any of the deals out there that i picked up with the rajay deals yeah i mean i ended up picking up the uh, armor gangs for 3.99 for the 25.4 ounce bottle i got two of those some of the Evil Twins were $1.99. Uh, a couple were regular price. The Dark Horses, as I mentioned, were $1.99. Um, the Beer Glass was a deal $1.99. The Cantera Coffee Liqueur, this is $3 off. But yeah, I mean, there were some good deals out there. And that's the one thing at this time, there's a lot of places out there that are going to deals as they're trying to move merchandise over. So make sure to check out not just your local breweries and places like that distilleries but also check out your local bottle shop stores because you too may find some deals out there but i want to go ahead and get this stuff put away thanks for you guys tuning in i will look forward to catching up with you guys next time keep drinking those good craft beers and remember there's always time get your beer on cheers everybody